What's up everyone? Today I'm doing a knife review on the SOG Snarl. Uh, this is the SOG version of, I'm not sure I read his name right, Jason Brois. Uh, they took his silent soldier knife, the neck knife, uh, I'm sure you've probably seen a review of it from Cutlery Lover, that was where I first saw the knife, and they made it into a production knife. Um, which great for me I wanted the silent soldier so bad when I first saw it and it was on my wish list for a long time and then one day I saw SOG had made a production version of it um, I'll give you the specs real quick it is 1.9 ounces now I don't know if that is just the knife or with the sheath included um, the blade length is 2.3 inches uh, the blade still is 9CR18MOV RC. No, but. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's called the Sock Snarl. Uh, there's not a whole lot of reviews on it right this second, which is why I'm doing one. Uh, I don't do a lot of knife reviews because a lot of the time when I buy a knife, there are already a ton of knife reviews out. But there were not a lot of reviews on this one, so I figured, hey, you know, when I get it, I'll do one. And I've had it for almost two weeks now. Um, I know, right? I didn't do an unboxing. Uh, but I was just too excited to, to wait, and I got it on the way to work and opened it up and put it on and wore it to work and been wearing it every day since. And so I finally got a day off and I can review it. I'm sitting at the house. Uh, Indiana Jones Marathon on today on Spike TV, so it's a good day. So getting right to the review, um, it comes with, uh, you can't really see on the package there, you can kind of see, uh, it comes with a belt clip, so you can wear it as, a, you know, on your belt, or you can wear it as a neck knife, and it comes with this black beaded chain. Um, I took the belt clip off, because the belt clip came across here and there um, and it just like it, or maybe it was down there yeah it just got in the way of the chain um, this hole here that one there you can't fit the chain through that one and then there's another one here another hole here I don't know if you can see that uh, let's see. there you kinda see it right there that um, is inside where the knife goes and I think that's just in case it gets wet. So I didn't plan on wearing this on my belt anyway. So I took that off and I've been wearing it just as a neck knife um, for like two weeks now. And it's it's very comfortable. Um, the only problem I've had since getting it um, is whether, like, when I wake up, it's like, okay, I want to wear this neck knife, but I also want to wear the skull pendant. And, like, I don't have that with me right this second. So... I've been wearing the the knife, uh, the neck knife here, and I, I just got the skull pendant, and I really like it. And I don't want to wear them both because that would be just too much. That would be too heavy. So I think maybe I'll put the um, skull pendant back with like a lanyard and stick. Maybe put it in my pocket or something, or or just wear it when uh, I'm going somewhere. Like I wouldn't carry the knife. I don't know. They're they're both really cool, and that's the only problem I've had. Which one do I wear? Um, so, the, the reviews I have seen, uh, one was of Jason Bros on his channel, him comparing it to his knife, the, the original Silent Soldier, and him, you know, using this one. Another one was an unboxing and a short review, and then the other one was just an unboxing. They didn't really do anything or talk about it very much. Uh, the review I did see said that it, it wasn't very sharp. Now I've had this, um, been using it, and it came. This one came sharp for me. Uh, it's not the sharpest knife I've ever owned. That's, you know, true. But it, it is sharp, sharp enough to cut paper. Um, so it's got a just a little bit of a, a rough spot, maybe. Right. Let's see how that tore. There's like just a little bit of a spot on there but it's been cutting pretty effort 
effort, effortlessly for me. Hard to say that. Anyway, so yeah, we'll go through there. Right in the middle of the blade, it kind of it kind of slows down. So there might be something right in the middle of the blade that's not as sharp. I just got my Spider Tooth Sharp Maker in today. Uh, I didn't do an unboxing of that because I kind of thought that was kind of a boring thing to unbox. But I got it in, so I'll run it through that just a little bit. See if we can even it up. But overall. For me, I'm really loving this knife because uh, it's lightweight. I've wanted a neck knife for a really long time. Um, it, it looks cool. It works good for me. I really haven't had any problems with it. Um, it's very rare that I forget to put a knife like in my pocket. or I usually wear my knives on my waistband. so. Uh, there's been some times when I'm running late to work where I'm just up and I go and I'm out the door and then I'm like, crap, I didn't grab a knife. So then I grab my backup knife out of the car. But with this, um, I can just throw it, I, I throw it in my lunchbox when I, I get home. And then, so it's there and I don't, I don't forget it. Um, so I think this will be a permanent part of my everyday carry for a while because... I like to change up my pocket knives, this may sound weird, but I change up my pocket knives to kind of match, um, I have different color watches, red, blue, green, purple watches, and so I'll carry like a, my purple blur, and I'll wear the purple watch, and I got like a purple lighter, purple handkerchief, everything just matches. So with this, this can always be the same, because it's just black and, and stainless steel, so it'll be nice to have a constant um, so yeah but overall uh, I really like the knife I would suggest it um, you know if you were thinking about getting it and you asked me my opinion of it I'd definitely say go for it it's worth it to me um, right at 40 bucks I think is what I paid for it um, the silent soldier is uh, I don't know I seen the only one I saw was on eBay and it was like a hundred and twenty bucks but I think I think you um, can get them cheaper than that like around eighty to ninety um, just depends on how much you want to spend you know uh, if I had ninety to spend I would have bought the Silent Soldier instead of the Sog but I didn't really have that much so this is a really nice alternative for someone who wants something like that and who really doesn't have that much money I think it's a really neat design. Um, as far as how, like, I really don't know what that second hole is for. Because, I I mean, I can't put it in there. That's just goofy. I can't do anything with that. Uh, the second one, I, I can't cut like that either. So that hole, I mean, maybe reverse grip? I don't know. I really, I really don't know how that's intended. But what I do is I stick it through that finger, second finger goes there, and then the thumb goes there, and then I'll just cut, you know, whatever needs to be cut. Um, the sheath is really, really nice. Uh, it comes in and out like a dream, and I wear it so it hangs down like this, um, and most of the time, I work almost every day of the week, so uh, sometimes I'll work six, seven days in a row seven days in a row not a whole lot but I'm, I'm at work more than I'm you know off ever uh, and so this is perfect because it comes right it hangs right to where I'm like my scrub top the V ends so it's concealed so, so no one really sees it but when I'm off somewhere and I need to cut something open or tear open a box or something I can just grab right at the top pull it up and just pop it out one handed and then cut Ah. Kind of stabbed the box also because it made me mad. Um, and then pop right back in, slip it back in my shirt, and then I'm good to go. And nobody gets all freaked out because I'm carrying a knife. So, anyway, um, there you go. That's my review. I think this thing is awesome. 
and I'm really happy that I got it. Um, I had the Silent Soldier on my buy it list for a really long time, and I didn't know if I would ever get around to getting it. But now I got this, and that is awesome. So yeah, anyway, bam. Thank you for watching, and have a good day. And if you purchased one of these, I hope you enjoyed as much as I've enjoyed this one. Bye.